Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you something really interesting which will help you a lot in improving your reporting. So what I have over here is a simple chart which is the uh, where you have the category over here and this is where you have the four regions uh, that are there in US uh, which is basically divided based on the you know business or the region that they are central region east region south region and west region and that's where the business is happening and that's what you see over here as a stack right just to know in which region business is more compared to other regions right so idea is this that uh, your user are not just interested in looking by one dimension which is technology furniture and office supply nothing but the category which is present over here but they want some flexibility that by this region which is important for them they want to change this dimension so that on the fly they can do further analysis rather than you going in and changing it right so for that uh, what we can utilize is the dynamic dimension uh, which is something i have already configured and i'll show you from scratch how you can do that so for example you don't want category you want them to give a flexibility that you choose the city so the city is coming right so this is changing and basically showing that in new york city uh you know this is what the region is and uh, this is what the sale is springfield you know multiple regions are coming which is not expected but just to give you some idea and then you have customer name right so this sean miller looks like this name is present in three different you maybe the same name or maybe the same customer who moved who knows right right and uh, greg becky and all of that so you can do whatever you want with this small functionality like product name right segment customer segment like consumer corporate all of that so whole idea is how you can make this dimension dynamic which is a y-axis how you can make it dynamic so that you can go and uh, give the power in the hand of end user and they can do whatever analysis they want so that is something we'll see before that just a quick information if you have landed very first time on my channel then you should know that all of my Power BI videos is present in my Google Sheet, which is here. I am keeping the link of the sheet in the description with which you can go and look at all of my previous videos like the dashboard. For example, the previous one, I had the dashboard, finance dashboard, a lot of different things I am I'm posting related to Power BI as I am getting an experience of that. I'm posting it so it has the title so that you know your search become easy or you can have your own learning path if you are interested in certain type of a, a scenario based question then you can come over here and do that uh, search for that and then the link is present as soon as i publish the link is present in column b similarly some exercises are present over here which is based on uh, make the workout wednesday the link is present here exercise link and what is my solution is present over here like creating basic report long labels conditional formatting switching so on and so forth, right so all of that is present here in the sheet so that you can utilize the best uh, or all of the information from my channel with that let me go back to power bi okay so to create a chart like this well first of all what we need if i simply remove this chart i need visualization in the visualization i'll select this chart which is a stack chart right and in this stack chart i'm using the superstore data set which is for which link is also present in description and uh, what we need is let's i don't know category what we were having on the y-axis if you remember on the x-axis we need a measure so the measure let's say we take what sales and the on the legend we need the dynamic field why dynamic field because if you see i put the region as a static field then it will not change because what i'm putting i have no impact is here because there is no dynamic behavior so the way you need to configure this is you need to come over here in modeling in the modeling you need to click on new parameter fields in the fields give it a parameter like uh, uh, you have dynamic dimension right uh, and i'll just add the so this is a table that it will create or i will just say t dynamic dimension t is just a placeholder i'm keeping it so that i can simply i know that it it will come down in the and not in my at the top where so many multiple tables are present uh, so this is just the uh, 
for for my reference but you can give whatever name you want okay so dynamic dimension is here and uh, what i can do is i can uh, bring come over here and use the superstore and in this choose the dimension that i want for example i want uh, city uh, I want uh, customer name, how many dimensions we want, we can take it and uh, let's say we want segment, these three. You can select as many as you want, as I show. So now this will table will present down below where I can now see this table over here. Now the thing is we just need to configure it for our Y axis rather than saying a static category, I will just remove that. And I will say this dynamic dimension. So first one is city. That's why that is selected. So if I just bring it over here. Uh, now I want to see this. Let's say by customer name. So now my customer names are coming. All my customer names are coming right in a sorted order. Or segment. So this segment is coming. So what I'm doing. I'm giving the power in the hand of the end user. Where they can come in and based on their need. Right. Sometimes it can be segment, sometimes it can be custom money, whatever they want, they have the flexibility and the power with which they can go ahead and select. it. So that is what I wanted to show you that in just a couple of minutes, how you can very quickly achieve this. And to I, I will going to post a lot of dynamic behavior videos. So make sure you subscribe it if you have not already subscribed. And that way you will get notification for all of my upcoming video that will be the entire series for dynamic behavior achieving the dynamic behavior from the chart with that thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the next video